Researchers this fall might be able to confirm the authenticity of an engraved stone from a doomed 16th century colony in Roanoke Island that has been dismissed as a forgery for decades, the Washington Post reported. If this stone is real, it's the most significant artifact in American history of early European settlement, Ed Schrader, a geologist and president of Brunel University in Georgia, where the stone is kept, told the Post. And if it's not, it's one of the most magnificent forgeries of all time. In 1587, a group of English colonists sent by Sir Walter Raleigh were sent to Roanoke Island, in what is now North Carolina, after a first settlement failed three years earlier, the Post noted. Included in the group was the colonists' leader John White and his daughter Eleanor White Air, and son-in-law Ananias, a stonemason. Soon after landing, there had a daughter whom she named Virginia. The White left the group to return to England to plead for help for a colony that arrived too late to plant crops. His return was delayed by four years because of the Anglo-Spanish War. When he arrived, the colony was deserted. It was not until 1937 the mystery of the settlement re-emerged after a California tourist handed over a 21-pound engraved rock he said he had found in a swamp while traveling through North Carolina to Emory University in Atlanta, the Post reported. On one side, the engraving appeared to be a grave marker, reading, Ananias Dare. Ye salvages vain spirits angry sudden mirth or else save seven mind chilled and anata slain with much misery. It was signed EWD, the initials of Eleanor White Air. Soon afterward, additional stones started showing up, and were ultimately exposed as worthless, casting doubt on the original stone too, the Post reported. Now, researchers are taking another look at that first stone, intrigued the letters etched on it looked very different from subsequent findings. Schrader had a sample of the stone analyzed by the University of North Carolina at Asheville, exposing the quartz's bright white interior, in 2016. The original inscription would have been a stark contrast to the weathered exterior, science writer Andrew Lawler reported in National Geographic. A good choice for a Roanoke colonist but a poor one for a modern forger, outside experts will analyze the inscription more thoroughly this fall, the Post reported type of English that's on the stone was really only used for about a hundred years, so it's a nice time marker to be able to study," Schrader said. If the first Dare stone turns out to be real, that would mean Virginia Dare, who is the first English child born on this continent ultimately became an icon for white supremacists, the Post reported, died when she was three or four years old at the hands of Native Americans. Schrader does not care about what white supremacists will think of that. They're not going to convince anyone but themselves with Virginia Dare. So, I just don't think there's anything that they will gain, he told the Post. But I would like to gain something through this study. I would surely like to know whether Eleanor White Dare had her hands on this stone about 500 years ago and left us a message, newsfront the authenticity of an engraved stone from a doomed 16th century colony in Roanoke that has been dismissed as a forgery for decades might be able to be verified by researchers this fall, according to the Washington Post. Roanoke Colony, Archaeology, Science, Virginia Dare 598 Thursday 5 July 2018 6.49 p.m. 2018-49-05 Thursday 5 July 2018 6.49 p.m. Newsmax Inc. Newsmax Inc. Newsmax Inc.